Hey guys, Anthony, 4 before diesel Just want to do a quick video and explain a couple of upgrades with these uh, couple of things here. So, mainly to do with a K-On rear table. And when I say K-On, some people are sort of going, what, what's K-On, what are you talking about? So this is what I'm talking about. That's the brand right there, K-On, and that's their website, kon.com.au. So that's what we're talking about when we say K-On, for those people that are going, K-On, what's he talking about, K-On? Okay, so they design and manufacture, important part, design. So they design, manufacture some awesome um, things, not just for your four-wheel drive, but look, in what we're talking about here for the Prados and the four-wheel drive scene. Um, and the one we're talking about here is this table. Now, this was one early days, you know, we'll call it a prototype almost. It was a bit of a test fit. Didn't even have the ropes holding the table up at that point. I sort of made those and put them on. So please excuse the quality of those. I did that now. Early days, obviously, these were CNC machined out, probably a bit of a file, and that was a good idea, just, you know, hooking those on and off, and these have been on and off like that hundreds of times, you know, it works really easy, the hole there to pop it out, and that's great, but even on the old utes, you know, I remember the old XFs and the AUs and the BAs and all that, they had these sort of little hook things on the back there, and even using those, these would get wear and tear, and you'd have to replace them eventually, no big deal, you know, we'll get to that in a minute, right, but... The, the thing about k is they make really awesome products, they listen, and when there's something that's not, you know, maybe could be a little bit better, well, they have their own ideas in the first place and their own upgrades, but if I think of something, I can contact them, they'll listen, and listen to what you're saying, think about it, and they'll come up with an idea that's even heaps better than what I've thought of anyway. So this is one of those things. Um, it's not just me, but a few people have mentioned maybe, you know, something could happen there, so I had this bit of an idea, those um, ute button things. So. Here's the upgrade, it's really easy. What we'll do, I've just purposely put this on and off about 50 times trying to bust it. It's, it's nearly ready to break. What we'll do, we'll drop that down. That's my cutting boards in there, don't worry about it. My string job. Um, these never even used to have an edge on it. It's not sharp or anything. You can run your hands on it, you know. You're not gonna, you're not gonna cut yourself, but they now supply, if you haven't got it and you, and you don't like, if you think the edges are sharp, um, they will supply you one of these rubber strips with this upgrade kit if you ask for it. Now, if you've purchased a table off them, awesome. Um, if you're not, if you think it's got sharp edges or you've got issues, if you haven't got issues, then don't worry about it. Worry about it when you do. But if you want to upgrade um, or you've got issues like this nearly breaking through, then this is the deal. Get on their website. You just saw the website. I'll show you again. What was it called? Focus. Kon.com.au. Check out. There you go. You've got um, probably contact us somewhere or something. Anyway, get their email address. Shoot them an email saying, "Hey, I brought the table." proof of purchase whatever and say you know I just want to upgrade to those you know those things that Anthony you know showed us on the video so I'll show you how they work right so they're just these little um, I don't know what you'd call them okay I'm not that intelligent so they just they, they're really cool design they actually it's got little feet on there that actually slots in and sits perfectly in place like that and it comes with a bolt and a nut and it's literally that simple okay so with these, they're a flange nut that's got a grippy on the back. So the ideal way is to, so you put your Allen key, what is it uh, for record? Five mil Allen key. Right, you put the five mil Allen key there and you put your spanner over it. I mean, ideally you're gonna go, you're gonna automatically go like to tighten it, but the best way is to go like that and not spin the nut because the nut grips on the back. Look, simple as that, job done. You obviously do that at both sides and then that'll just, how beautiful is that, guys? You know, this is what I'm talking about. I spoke to Karen about this, I don't know, a week or two ago, not long ago, right? A couple of weeks ago, probably. Come up, had this bit of an idea, and then, you know, Tin obviously worked out the best way to do it, and look at that. I mean, look, even that's there still. That, that actually even still helps get your finger in there to go like that. So there you go. Mate, that's just awesome. Same deal if you want to um, change the bungees. It's just a couple of knots there, so in that kit, they supply a replacement one of those as well, so that's cool. And like I said, that bit of rubber only takes a minute to put on. I think the length needs to be cut at 1,075 millimeters, just this kind of rubber gear. You might even, if you get it yourself from Midis or, it's not Midis, what is it? Purple Pig or Pink Pig or whatever they call it. They shut down, didn't they? I don't know what the name of the places are, but look, that's the deal, guys. Um, k on awesome products, and when there's an issue, it's not really an issue, but a way to make it better, a, a Mark II, let's call it, and mate, they're there available for you. If you're not happy with the original design, um, they'll sort you out with that. And if you want to make a donation and pay for it, even better. Because, you know, as far as I'm concerned, like, 
you know, who cares if you paid ten or twenty dollars? But you know, they probably don't want your ten dollars because they're awesome. Their, their service is so awesome. So I think I pointed out what the upgrade is, how easy it is to install. So let's just do the other side. You know, I mean. Okay, so there's the plastic. You just put the bolt in. Okay, it's just a five mil Allen key. Sit that in place, just like that. Get the nut started. We'll grab our Allen key and spanner again. And like I said, naturally you're going to sort of, because it's facing this way, you're probably going to want to go like that. But the better way to do it is to actually turn the Allen key the other way like that. Right? It's just plastic, so I don't need to tighten it. I'm not sure if I did. But I get it up. Happy days. It's not going anywhere. It locates, like I said, with those feet. Um, and that is, that's an awesome table. So I'm going to change those bungees in a minute. Rock solid. Now, one thing to consider, obviously, you do need to allow the clearance. It's not their fault you've got to allow clearance for your um, draw system, of course. It's the people who design your draw system need to make it uh, allow for clearance for people to have rear tables. Now, this is, you know, I know they've stated what you need, but look, they've added a little bit onto it, probably added about 10 mil, I'm just estimating here. At this side here, it's about an inch, I'd say 25 to 30 mil. In the middle, maybe 40, because the door's a bit of a sort of concave shape. So if your draw system only goes to the back of the trim, which it should anyway, then that works perfectly because if your draw system straight, I can tell you now at this height, if you've got a system like this, and this system, it's that, um, you know, whoop, it's the um, system designed by, and built by have a look at that isn't that beautiful that's a perfect use of storage and of course we've got the K-On battery up there as well to stop everything going off the front of it so that's built by JPH Joiner in Geelong um, very happy with that product um, top quality there's different finishes available. I was happy with a basic sort of finish like that. Very functional, reliable, and everything fits and making use of the storage space. Uh, you could probably drop that possibly, there's different designs you can have. You could drop that top shelf down now and make use of the k storage system up above it as well. But anyway, guys, this was, we're getting off topic again. I'll do it all the time, don't I? Okay, so this was about the table and that little upgrade. The table's awesome, we love that. And now it's even better. And guess what? It'll probably get better again another day. All right, guys, thanks for watching. See ya. Hey, guys, so we've got these, uh, both the bungees and the both the hooks on now. So that is just beautiful now. Right, awesome table. Um, like I said, I'll put these strings on, so don't worry about those. It's, they're not the standard strings, whatever. This is what I've done. I've fitted the rubber along this edge, and I've just put about two inches along there and there what the other thing I did notice when you put it up and you pull this around here that's all good I'll do this side as well but just around here on the edge of the steel that was rubbing a little bit it wasn't bad but it was rubbing a little bit enough to fray the black and I mean they've been oh, it's been on rough trips here there in and out of here and there and on and off hundreds literally hundreds of times and they were fine, but it was rubbing through. So now that we've got nothing sharp, let's see how long they last. The main thing, guys, you've got the vehicle, you've got the gear, and you get out and use it, right? So don't forget, don't get busy. Don't get so busy making a living, you forget to make a life. Get out there and use the table. All right, guys, thanks for watching. See ya.